this is Reverend Dr. MC Stephanie Burns. I am live today coming to you from the lake. It's a bit breezy out here today. Um, the sun is shining. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. So grateful to just be outside to connect with the earth in this way. Yesterday was the hardest for me. Really, really hard. But I feel much better today and we're pushing on. I, I will say that one of the things I struggled with was actually doing this video because I didn't, wasn't sure if it would resonate with people. And so being in your own personal power um, was a thing for me. Stuff may come up for you and that's uh, to be expected. Be gentle with yourself, drink tea, drink lots of water, get rest. Do some kind, fun things for yourself. So today's chakras deal with the heart chakra created by the color green. If you're giving offerings to the heart chakra, uh, anything green, dandelions, kale, cucumbers, celery, mint, so many green stuff you can give. The heart chakra is located in Glassbury and Shaftesbury, England. Uh, it's also the highest point, I think, is the Stonehenge. And the heart, it deals with unconditional love. Loving yourself, loving the earth, loving others, forgiveness, compassion, calmness. And so when we're out of balance, uh, we can become angry, we can become unforgiving. The heart chakra, just like the other chakras, is extremely important. And so we want to continue to do this earth steward work we're doing for the earth heart center it's time that we also start breathing that energy and that light into the earth chakras as we're talking about them so with our breathing exercises we're just going to bring in that that white light that power that energy that we want that positive energy that chi to flow uh, through our chakras and even though physically we're connecting with the earth on the ground imagine yourself in the middle of the heart chakra and it's on planet earth and so as you're breathing in that light that positive energy imagine breathing in that light through that root chakra which we've already talked about at uh, Mount Chasta, Northern California, into that sacral chakra in Lake Titicaca, into the solar plexus chakra, which is in Uluru, into the heart chakra, which is in England and Glastonbury, um, and then on and on until we get to the heavens, and then we're gonna come back down. The breathing is just to channel that light, positive energy, into our chakras um, and also into the earth chakra. So if you want to hold a stone, if you have a rose quartz, uh, you can, you don't have to. You have your stones, just put it near your heart and just take some moments to really meditate today. It's really nice out here, so I'm just kind of soaking in the sun and the air, and I'm just really being very grateful. So today, I would recommend uh, having a grateful journal where you just start writing whatever comes up for you going forward. Uh, today is a great day to just give thanks and be grateful. So we had quite a few cards come out the deck today. Um, and so I'm going to go over all of them. The first card is the Two of Diamonds. So the Two of Diamonds in this situation deals with vibration. So when you think of vibration, you think of that heart chakra really pumping out a lot of love. And uh, heart chakra does a lot of work. So that is the situation, the Two of Diamonds. Okay, everyone. <laughs> card that that hit the water was the king of clubs which is about communication this was the challenge card what i was sensing is that there's a lot of noise that is getting filtered into uh this area and so what is that noise caused by so the three of heart came out the three of heart uh, for my deck deals with copper. Now, for some of you may be aware that I talked about copper um, dealing with the plate tectonic. So 
so everyone I had to come back to the car the wind was just a little too high for the cars that came out the deck we're talking about that vibration that's coming from um, the heart shock the earth heart chakra is being blocked by noise there was two cars I don't think I showed you the other one which is being blocked by noise if we look at copper in that heart in that heart or what's causing the copper deposits in that that that's maybe going to the heart chakra uh, we may be able to unblock some of this stifled energy and one way to look at that is to look at the plate tectonic information I put a couple of links below if you want to dig deeper into it the there is a significant amount of mineral deposits that create or is a result of plate tectonic activity so when you look at copper and we're talking about an abundance of copper if we can figure out where those areas are we can help redirect some of that energy that could be causing blockages and so a simplistic way of looking at it is just going to the map where it says the ring of fire and taking that area and just redistributing some of the energy that is coming from that area so the last card out of the deck is the four of diamonds the four of diamonds deals with meditation this is a great time for us to be in meditation whether you understand the plate tectonics the copper what you can do is just meditate that wherever there's noise or blockage going into these vortex uh, these ley lines and these the energy center of, of the earth energy chakras are connected by what they call ley lines or veins or spirit lines or dream lines depending on uh, which region you're talking about and I'm including a map so that you can see that so when you're meditating just meditate that there is a clear positive flow through these ley, line, ley lines or veins so that the energy uh, is moving and not being stifled or blocked. So thank y'all for being patient. The technology is crazy. I think it's going to get crazier as we go in up the chakras. Again, I love you.